Hey everyone, Kevin Richards here from Rock to Stage NYC here on YouTube and RPMVocalStudio.com on the web for voice lessons worldwide via Skype. Check out the links below. They get both my vocal courses. That's two vocal courses just for 50 bucks for being a cool person and clicking on the thumbnail to watch this video. That's my gift to you. That's half off the normal price if you just kind of went to my website and bought it. Uh, because you're a cool person and wanted to watch this video, that's my gift. Uh, also, there's links in there to uh, take lessons with me via Skype or here in New York City. Playlists to find uh, oh, my two over 280 videos on YouTube. Um, how to do with voice and various topics and things like that. Easier to find through the playlists. Uh, to the topic today. Uh, also, if you're not a, a, a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. Share this video wherever you like, all that kind of crap. So, uh, how to belt. Let's first describe what a belt is. A belt is taking sort of a normal sound and projecting it more and widening the sound, making it wider horizontally and vertically, uh, basically making the sound bigger. It's not even, uh, sorry to bust the Wikipedia bubble, uh, but it's not yelling. It's not a controlled yell. Uh, yelling is, is an out of control phonation. It's just blasting. A belt is an in control, highly projected sound, right? Now the belt sound, when I teach uh, students here how to belt, I always use, I always start with the sound of yeah. Uh, because to me, I think the word yeah is a really good belting sound because it has a combination of ya ja and eh in it. You can lean the sound, shade it towards the ah and make it more bright, or you can lean it back and make it a bit more dark or have a bit more body to it. Uh, ya, ja, like it's the la a, ah, to me is a little too far forward. So it's very easy to make that make that too nasal. Um, it's very pharyngeal. You can kind of go over the top with that. Uh, I think yeah is a better place because you have options. You can either tilt it forward or back depending on the sound you want. Um, it's also a nice, bright, wide, open sound, but you still have control of it because it has some depth to it. It's not totally open. Uh, now here's the exercise. An A major triad, A, C sharp, E. Right? The C sharp here is the C sharp above middle C. Right? So this is right over middle C here. Uh, a to E. Right? And what I do now is when I teach is I say to loop it. So we're going to take this exercise and we're going to kind of do it in a loop like this. Right? The breath support has to be really good for this because you're going to do this all in one breath. We're kind of going to spin it. And this is the exercise. Yeah. Now I'm speeding it up here for videos' uh, sake. It's usually a little bit slower than that. And then you would take that up and down. Um, I have variations of this, but this is one particular exercise. Now the the reason I use the word, like I said, yeah, is because I can demonstrate, I can move this sound. If I want to make it brighter, I can kind of more, tilt it more forward, like this. Yeah. That's how very forward that sounds. If I want that to be a bit more darker, I can kind of say, okay, I'm going to kind of pull the sound back towards my ear here. Yeah. And that has more of a classical sound. Um, so, and you can sort of move that needle and kind of EQ your voice, kind of change the tone of it on how you want to sound, how, how, what's pleasing to your ear. Um, if I use the word no, I don't have that option, unless I modify the word a lot. If I do a pure no, no, it's very hard to make that bright without changing it to na o. No. You can hear that's an ah. Uh. Ah. It's an ah uh, uh sound. No. As soon as I make it a pure no, it becomes a very classical sound. This is why we don't want to use really dark sounds. We don't want to use overly bright sounds. We want to use something in the middle. And for me, yeah is the perfect sound for that. So this is one particular exercise that will be in the uh, the loud and clear. Uh, belt program. It'll be a companion to the breathe program, which is just the breath support, because to be able to do um, belts effectively, you have to have a really good grasp of your support system. Uh, you have to be really good at being able to sustain uh, powerful exhales. 
And that's what the Breathe program is going to basically teach you. Um, now, the Loud and Clear program will, will, will be released after the Breathe program, uh, but they will kind of be sort of part one and part two, sort of companion things. I mean, you don't have to buy them to get, uh, to get on a life. You feel your breath support is really good and, you know, you just want to learn how to belt. Maybe you're more of a pop singer and you want to get into some rock or you're a country and you want to learn some rock. You don't really know how to belt, but you feel your support system is really good. You can breathe really good. You can just get the belt program. Um, if you feel you just need to work on your breath support, your belting is okay, but, you know, you can just buy the breathe program. I don't want to shove an entire vocal course, you know, soup to nuts kind of a thing onto the public. There's too many of those already. Um, and I don't want you to have to buy a whole bunch of stuff you may not need. So uh, I'm doing these kind of sort of mini courses, kind of mini modules that uh, people could buy. And it keeps the cost down. It keeps them under 40 bucks because it's just a digital download of, you know, MP3s, a couple of PDFs, and maybe a few videos. Um, not a whole ton, and it doesn't really cost me anything to have it really sit on a server for you to download it. So I, I'm not going to gouge you with like, a, you know, pay me $200 for this. Or 150 bucks, some crap like that. Um, <clears throat> I think that's kind of conning the public and gouging them. Um, I'd rather keep the price lower and sell more of them than, than not sell a lot and keep the price high. Uh, so look for that coming up soon. Uh, until next time, this is Kevin Richards. Keep rocking, keep practicing. See ya.